winning the Olympia tonight was a huge surprise because I've placed second uh, at the Olympia the past few years. Then I got a fifth place at the Arnold Classic, which was kind of throwback to me. And even to get ready for the show was very challenging because I kept on looking back and I'm like, I'm not second anymore. I went down to fifth. Like, how do you get back there? But I just kept on pushing myself and, and it worked. And I won and I still can't believe it. And I think I compare myself sometimes to, to Phil Heath, if I may. Uh, because Phil was always the almost guy. For many, many years he was out the almost guy. And then last year when I saw him winning, I was like, that could be me. Because I'm always the almost, I'm always the almost girl. So maybe one day, my, one day my day will come and my day came, my day is today. <laughs> so I'm very, very, very happy and very honored to be representing the sport. My coaches changed my training a little bit. Um, they were feeding me a lot and putting me to run more, <laughs> more than I was eating. I was running an average of 10 to 12 miles a day. So I was running about a marathon every two days. And I think that helped a lot to get, my, like, to get me very lean, but at the same time to keep my muscles full and get my bottom tight and my abs not so lean that was uneven with my 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 bottom part uh, I was doing also a lot of track work running like a crazy woman in Florida Heath he it's not fun let me tell you but I sucked it up and dealt with it people looked at me like I was absolute maniac running at one o'clock in the afternoon at a hundred degree weather in Florida about to pass out, people are like, what are you doing? I'm like, man, I got a show in two weeks. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, it was a lot of hard work, but man, was that was worth it. That was very worth it. Winning the Olympia, this is gonna sound so cliche, but it's, it's true. Like for whoever has been here in my position of winning a show like the Olympia, or for a person who has worked very hard to achieving something and eventually the person got where they want it, they'll know what I'm talking about. It is a dream come true. It, it requires a lot of hard work, dedication, and a lot of people making fun of you, as weird as it sounds, because you're not gonna go out on a Friday and Saturday night. You're not gonna go out to eat. You're not gonna have cocktails and people look at and you're spending three four five hours at the gym or as many hours as it requires and every time you walk in people are looking at you like you're here again so i i didn't care and i just kept on pushing through and working very 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 hard and every time i thought about giving up i thought of how close i was and how many people I were i was going to disappoint and also my country. I'm the first Brazilian person to ever win an Olympia. And I didn't know how big the sport is in Brazil and I've been getting so many messages on my Facebook of Brazilian fans. And I'm not only representing the sport myself, I'm representing my country. And this means more than anything to me. There are a lot of people who have made this special to me and have made this possible to me because competing is awesome. It is an amazing experience, but it's very time consuming and it's a job. And if you weren't from my, co for my, uh, for my sponsors, Nutrax Research, I don't know if I would be able to be here. So I'm very, very, very thankful to them for being here. For Team Bombshell, who are my coaches, uh, fitness management, which uh, NJM Manion, who are my uh, managers, and for everybody who has been able to put up with me the past few months because I've been very cranky. <laughs> Thank you.